Hello and welcome back to this episode of Jazz Tracks Contest. Today we are going to be entering CGC Vinyls Guys, a push to 500 subscribers competition. Uh, Christian, almost there. We got 29 more, so if you're not, go subscribe to CGC Vinyl Guy. This is the, um, I believe this is, uh, for his 60th birthday. Um, and the, there's, the question is, show six albums that were released the year when you were six years old. See, I was born in 2008, and I was six in 2014. <laughs> Not a lot of great albums, but there were a few, and I do have six. One on vinyl. N none of the other ones on vinyl. Number one, Lazaretto by Jack White. My favorite, why am I so close to the camera? <laughs> My favorite Jack White album to date. Um, I've never been a huge White Stripes or Jack White guy, um, as a lot of vinyl collectors are, but I really did enjoy that record, Lazaretto. Um, I believe there that was the first album where they really incorporated a lot of vinyl elements. There was holograms that played from the inside and out. Uh, really unique pressing of the record. So, yeah, there we go. One, Lazaretto. Number two, Salad Days by Mac DeMarco. Um, I'm a casual Mac DeMarco fan. My friend's a massive uh, Mac DeMarco fan. I like him. I like the album, too, with Ode to Viceroy, Annie, um, really, uh, Freaking Out the Neighborhood. A lot of good tracks on two. But Salad Days is a second favorite of mine, which was released in 2014. I believe that was his fourth or third, I want to say third, uh, release, right, coming right after two, but very, very good. Uh, two, Hypnotic Eye. This is, I think, one of Tom Petty's last records, if not his last. Definitely not one of my favorite Petty records. It's all right. I've listened to it a couple times, and I had actually never heard it before I was researching what to put down for this contest, but I saw it was a Petty album. I'm a massive Petty fan. Um, don't have it on vinyl. I don't think there was many pressings of it on vinyl since it was released in 2014, but it was alright for a 2014 Tom Petty record. Um, three is Demolicious. I don't really know whether to call this an album or not. It's a, I want to kind of say a compilation um, by Green Day, a lot of the early, um, stuff from 39 Smooth, Kerplunk, um, and stuff like that, uh, compiled into this compilation of demos, outtakes, and other sorts of goodies, uh, called Demolicious. That was released in 2014. That's my th fourth. Fifth is the Rockville LP by OAR. I'm a massive OAR fan. Their records are impossible to find on vinyl. I only have one, and it's Stories of a Stranger. It was a record story release back in 2021, probably, yeah, um, by Craft Recordings, and they did a fantastic job. But the Rockville LP is one of my favorite OAR records of all time. And finally, the one that I have on vinyl, this is a blind buy for me that I picked up at a thrift store, kind of a thrift store. It's called McKay's. It's in Nashville bronze and it's called i'm all of a sudden forgetting it word world apart maybe world arena that's what it is what a parts a saga album um electronic i'm not a huge electronic guy but this is a like electronic poppy synthy vapor wavy kind of album where you if you just want to chill and listen to a an electronic kind of I don't know the spacey almost record. This is usually what I put on. Uh, released in 2014, Bronze. World Arena. Anyway, that's my entry into CGC Vinyls, guys. 60th birthday, push to 500 subscriber contest. Um, huge congrats. I know you'll get to 500 anytime soon. Anytime. You'll get to 500. As always, thanks so much for watching this episode of Jack Strax Records contests.